Hey guys, I'm back. All right, if you're new to this channel, I am Nyasha and I'm the owner of Mercy Couture Wigs. So, what I'm going to do though, real quick, is I am just going to say I'm so excited to do this video. Like, super excited. I have been waiting all week to do this video. This video, as you see in the description, I'm just going to really try it out and I'm going to see if it's going to be real. So, I got this whole idea and I found the product off of this other YouTuber named Curly Chris. She is amazing. I love her content. Go check it out. She has a lot of natural hair videos and everything. So, she actually introduced me to the product and I was like, oh, snap. She washed her hair. She said that it lasts. And after looking at the product, I saw that a lot of other people had the product online and that they were using it too. But a lot of people didn't have like coily or textured hair or like really tight, tight curls or like really a Z pattern. And if they did, they didn't do a follow-up. So I was like, well, how the heck am I supposed to know if this thing works or not? So she was the only one that did a follow-up. And her, she actually was trying to wash the hair out to see if it really washes it out or if it damages the hair. And it didn't damage the hair. So I was like, oh, good. So I'm going to try it. So granted, my hair in the front part is a little heat damage. So I think I'm going to do a side part. I'm going to do a U-part wig, um, braid it up, and going to leave it out. And I'm going to use this amazing product, which I... Hope it's amazing, and I want to show everybody that way they can go out and get it too because it's about to be summertime. If it's not summertime, wherever you are already, then you need to get this product if it works, okay? I'm just going to test it out on my hair. Everybody's hair is different, so everybody's hair is going to react differently. But here is the product. Wow. Yes. Wow. I want to be wowed. Okay. This is called Color Wow. Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Magically Transformed Texture. Amazing Humidity proof Proofing Powers. This is going to be a game changer if this works. Apparently, it's all over TikTok and Instagram, so we'll see. So I got this from Sephora, and I didn't realize that the bottle was so small, so I was like, when I got it, I was like, oh, wow, this is really a sample size. So I'm only going to probably have enough to do the hair because they want you to saturate it very well. And it has very specific instructions. I did see one girl use it to... Um, do her leave out but it says dry your heat required to activate product so I don't know if she got good results because it says you know to do something else here so I'm just gonna do what it um, says to do here and I'm gonna apply it to make sure that it is and it says apply liberally to each section so I'm really going to probably only have enough to do this part we'll see because my hair ends up being very thick but I'm probably lying I hope not but it's not enough to do a whole head I would need the um, bigger bottle which is like 20 something dollars and I don't know if they sell it on Amazon but I definitely know they sell it at the actual website for Color Wow and they sell it on Sephora but hurry up because sometimes it's sold out all right so what I'm gonna do is take these braids out yes take these out this is two weeks in they put a lot of jam and stuff and I think they actually broke my hair off by doing it because she had to comb it, I don't know what's going on, but I noticed my hair is broken off down, straight down this part. Anyway, which is not good. So, what I'm going to do is wash it off camera, and I'm going to come back, and we're going to blow dry my hair, we're going to braid up my hair, then we're going to add the Color Wow to my hair, and I'm probably not going to put any other product there, um... Well, it says condition, so I guess you could condition it. Oh, maybe I won't put any leave-in in that part of my hair. I'm just going to just try not to and just add this because it's supposed to also be like a heat protectant. It's supposed to be all of that stuff. That's what they say on the website. It doesn't say it on the bottle. Maybe the bigger bottle says it, but this one doesn't. All right, and if anyone wants to know why I don't wash my hair on camera like a lot of other people do is because my bathroom is not set up like that, sweetheart. It's just not, and I'm not about to have water coming out of my shower all on the floor, right? I have a shower curtain. I don't have a shower door. Yes, we are still living, yes, okay? So, when I get my new bathroom and my new house, I'm definitely going to show everybody up, all right? So, anyway, just stay tuned. I'll be right back, all right? Later. So, this is my hair freshly washed. I braided this part because this is my leave out. I'm going to add the product. Um, afterwards, but I'm just going to blow dry my hair just enough where I can braid it and saute it. So. And I'm going to watch my below deck while I'm doing it. Alright, so just stay tuned for the music. This part is not really wet. I finished blow drying my hair a little bit. 
Um, and I didn't tell y'all what products I use. I use Bordeaux, um, Bragaggio, Curl Charisma Shampoo, Jane Carter, Conditioner. I know I was supposed to use the whole family, but I just, it wasn't like that. And then I use It's a 10 Deep Conditioner. Yeah, I totally did not use the whole family of anything. So, I am just going to wet this because it said wet here. Um, per the video of the example of the guy who works with Woe that they used... So I'm spraying it. It's a spray liberally. I'm spraying, I'm spraying, I'm spraying. I'm spraying a whole lot. Now, it says it's good for three shampoos. So I might have straight here twice, but that's fine. So I think I sprayed enough. And I'm just adding more to the sides because that's also going to be leave out. I'm not leaving any of it back out. But, alright. Where you going? My partner in crime is leaving me. He doesn't want to hear me talk anymore. Um, alright. So, we are going to blow dry this out. And I'm just going to do it in real time. Hopefully this video is not too long. It shouldn't take... Yeah, know this. It shouldn't take that long to blow dry this part. So, hopefully about like two minutes. That might have been a little longer, but I pretty much straightened it and blow dried it so it's dry. And what I'm going to do now is just braid it down. With the whole braid down business, sorry it was so silent. Um, so you're supposed to, like I said, heat activate. I'm sorry, I've been up since 3.45. I'm so tired, like so tired. Um, but yes, so this part seems a little dry. And once I put the flat iron on it, then it's supposed to, I guess, I don't know if the heat locks in the actual product and activates it. But we shall see. But this part is pretty much as straight as I'm going to get with the blow dryer. I normally don't straighten my hair like super to the roots. But I wanted to make sure that every part of it was activated. So I think I took hair that wasn't supposed to be in here. And that's not going to good when I part it. So I'm going over with my Kaposi flat iron. I'm doing a silk press. That way I can make sure the heat is, um, the product is activated and everything is locked in. And I'm going in sections by sections. Again, I think I mentioned this, um, I'm going to mention this later on. But yeah, I end up doing a middle part. So I had to take everything out. Spray the product again on the hair that's on the um, my left side, which is your right side. And I just had to just do it over again because it was just not working. But you'll see in the next video, um, the next clip that, yeah, what I'm talking about. And now what I'm going to do is take my T3 one and a quarter inch curling iron and I'm just going to curl my hair. That way it can blend nicely with my U-part wig that I did curl off camera. Actually, I curled it on camera, but I didn't feel like it was necessary to show it. Um, it's just curling hair, and I've curled a lot of hair on this. But if you do want to see, you know, more curling hair videos, don't forget to put it down in the description box. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yay. All right, so here we go. We're almost done. And then we are going to add my U-part wig. All right, so here's my U-part wig with the combs. And I'm going to apply the you put on the U-part wig now. now now, before, basically this was a terrible fail, epic fail, because the braids were not braided properly. It was too chunky on one side. I parted too much, had too much leave out, um, out, so half of the hair in the back was sticking up. It was just an epic fail. So I ended up behind the scenes going back, rebraiding it again, and I actually braided it into a center part because I think this U-part wig was made for a center part instead of a side part um, since I want some leave out, out, some hair out. Anyway, yeah, so it was just an epic fail. As you can see, I'm struggling to like make sure everything is nice and flat, but the right side of your screen was not flat. And then the hair at the back was sticking up. I was just looking a hot mess. And then I ended up taking everything out. But the curls were looking popping. I must say that the curls were look, ooh, yeah, but still.
nah. Was an epic fail, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Um, that was an epic fail. I took my U part wig out um, because basically it wasn't braided properly, so it wasn't clamping, so I'm just gonna re-braid the anchor braid. Anyway, so I don't know. I'm gonna give this another chance um, because I've straightened my hair. I went out, it was raining though. Now, it doesn't say anything, of, it's supposed to be like water, hum, it says humidity proofing. All right, rain and humidity are two different things. So as you can see, my hair is a little puffed up. It's not defined, the curl is gone, it's just nice and straight. Now, that could also be that my hair does not like to curl or hold a curl. If I do it for some reason, or if it's in its natural state, it'll hold a curl. But, yeah, so I'm not gonna like discount this product right away. Hey guys, all right, so I'm back. Now, I took my U-part out, and I just wanted you to actually see the hair instead of it being blended. Now, yeah, so it's, I went outside, it was raining. I went outside in the rain, got a little rain on it by accident, but I did put my hoodie on, um, and it kind of got frizzy, and the curl that I had earlier, it just dropped, so there's no more curl. Now, what I'm going to do is curl it, go into the shower, and see if that humidity will make the curl drop. If that curl drops, either I did something wrong or something's up with the product. Now, I don't know if it was like it'll keep your hair straight. It did say to keep it straight. Well, it didn't say it'll keep it straight. It just says humidity proof. So rain and humidity are two different things, and it wasn't even humid outside. It was more like chilly and rainy. So I'm going to try the actual thing it says, humidity. And we'll come back and see. But I just wanted to give you an update and let you know what the status was right now. Okay? Alright, stay tuned. I'm back. And as you can see, this one still held a curl. I stayed in there for about five minutes in the um, humidity. And this one just dropped. And it got a little frizzy. So, my final reaction to this is... I don't know if this is a professional product. And if it is, then you should probably use it with professionals. Or they should say it. But... Yeah, I'm going to try it again with a professional, but I'm 50-50 on this. I don't know. If you have probably straighter hair, maybe it'll work. I mean, it didn't puff up, like curl up. This one was a fail. This one was a okay. So my final, I guess, final, final review of this wild product is, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't bet on it. But again, that's just my opinion. It probably did, uh, affects different hair textures differently. So you probably should try it out yourself and then see what really happens at that point. Sorry for the audio in the background. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to curl this hair and put on my U part wig and I'm going to go about my business. But again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And check out my website, mercycouturewigs.com, all right, for your next Lewis custom wig. We also have ready-to-wear wigs, too. And we have an amazing hair oil that I also featured in, um, on my YouTube channel that helped my hair grow a lot and helped my edges, in addition to other things. But that really first started helping my edges grow. So, all right, thanks again for watching. Check us out, all right, on IG at Mercy Couture Wigs. Later.